Get it, Putin. You've lost the war. That's why you're asking for people in prisons to fight you. I and mean, Ukraine are not doing that. Ukraine have got plenty of men. You shouldn't have really messed with Ukraine. What would you do to yourself, Putin, if you asked a younger self and said to yourself, what you knew now, would you actually have started this war and this trouble? What about US, UK, France, Doc, the Nuke, Scotland, NATO, Northern Ireland, Wales? And we all have to get ready for another war with you. So the first time, the uh, uh, Sweden and Finland, Russia, Ukraine, uh, f you know, you used to be friends with the Queen. I can't understand, Putin, that you like the Queen. You were a good person back in the day. What would you tell your younger self not to do this if you knew what you knew now? Perhaps you did it for greed, for land, for money. Perhaps you just wanted to prove a point. You proved your point. But you've lost the war. You've not won. So the best thing for you to do is just give up and stop fighting or eventually we will win the war basically and uh, you will lose because the, Europe's got a lot of people backing them. You've got a big army but not, you're not going to take on NATO and France and Germany and Poland are you? So you'd probably be stupid enough to but you've only got so much men to go around not everybody wants to join the army and china don't want to fight the war with you so it's like world war three is coming empty threats again i think you attack our country we'll attack your back british people are like weak we're still going to war these days afghanistan iraq they probably have them wars but the thing is we ain't going to back down none of us will so do your worst, bring it on. We're not going to give up. You attack us, we'll attack you. We just have America and Australia probably involved and any other country will back us. Or we may be on our own, who knows. The Finland and the uh, Swedes may help us. So we're going to stick together, stay strong together, British, not blind of Scotland Wales against Putin. We know how to fight. That's why he didn't go to the Queen's wedding, because he attacked Ukraine. He just asked people to do it for him. He sends other people in, because he can't fight a fight himself. Sometimes we win them, sometimes we lose them in life. That's the way the world is. So, you may come on the waters in the British Channel, or Northern Ireland, and flew over and RAF flew you out of our planes. We're still waiting for your worst. Nobody wants war. Want love and peace. But you don't care, Putin. You're a madman. You're like Hitler. But anyway, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think about this. Will it happen? Will it not? There's a time ticking. Eventually, things get worse. People get drafted into the army. More people. People may knock on the doors. Army personnel. Or want to join the army. They take their... Or some people may not have that chance. Because they're too old. They have to defend their land and home. Anyway, thank you for joining me. See you next one. Take it easy, peace.